Hey, good morning, guys. Today we are starting our fourth unit in reading. It's this book. It says Understanding Different Points of View. So you have this book around and near you. Also have your reading book near you. Um, today your notebook, just your notebook for class. So unit four, our essential question is what do we learn when we look at the world through eyes of others? So we're going to dig a lot deeper into point of view because there's the point of view that we've talked briefly about that's, you know, others' thoughts and feelings and how they see or view something. If we're looking at the same subject, how we may have different perspectives of, on that thing or that subject or that hobby or that whatever. There's also how authors use point of view to write in their stories and why they do it. So we're going to really dig deep into that point of view. But today we're just kind of covering the surface. So after our lesson today, um, and we're all going to meet together in leaders and have that together. It'll be, I think it'll be a little fun. You might not think so. I do. Um, these are some of the guiding questions that I'd like for us to be able to answer after we have our lesson today. So we'll look back at this chart tomorrow. We won't do this chart today, but think about what is point of view. So while we're doing today's activities and we're talking, what is point of view? How does an author choose what point of view to use? Okay, because you're going to learn that there are different points of views that authors use. How do they decide when they're writing which one they want to use? Why is it important to learn about point of view? And how can hearing someone's point of view affect your own thoughts, my thoughts and feelings? So I really want you um, to kind of... Jot these down maybe in your notebook, but I want you to have them near because as we're working today and learning today and working together and talking, you know, you may have an idea or a thought that, that relates to one of these questions and you might want to jot that down so tomorrow you can share it with the group. So having said that, I have a little task for you as we enter today's um, class. So what I would like for you to do is write a very short story. Okay, so before you come to morning meeting, and I hope you'll have time to do this, but again, we're not checking for grammar, spelling, it, this is for fun, but it is an expectation that you do it. Before you come to class today, I want you to write a short story, maybe one paragraph, maybe five sentences, using the object in this picture as your main character. Super short, okay, again. Just what thoughts come to your mind when you see this picture. Look at the character in this picture. Decide who, what, when, where, why. Those basic first grade five W questions, okay? So look at the, the, the subject that's in the picture. That is going to be your main character. Maybe it's a once upon a time. So-and-so did this. This is where they live. This is what happened. The end. Very short and very simple. Not a fourth grade story. A real simple story, okay? Who is this character? What did this character do? When, where, and why? All right, and then we're going to share. I'm going to give you guys a chance to share a few of your stories. I'm excited. So make sure you get that done before you come to morning meeting. All right, my friends, I will see you at morning meeting, ready to stretch, get our minds warmed up and going, and dive into Unit 4. A little bit of fun. See you later.